Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ilpsguide.com. In their website, they provide a daily free question which help you to boost your preparation either for banking or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has high standard question with a detailed solution and at the end of the each test, we provide with a smart analysis that how well you performed, which are the area you must work on and also test series are available in both language that is Hindi as well as English. It is accessible on both desktop as well as mobile app whichever suits on you. For more information you can visit eStore.ipsguide.com. Now let's move towards our video. Hello everyone, welcome to IPS Guide. So in this particular video, I will tell you how to prepare quantity aptitude for SBI as well as IPS or any other bank exam and insurance exams. Okay, so before going further with my topic, uh, I want to tell you one thing my dear friends, note my word that when you start living the life of your dreams now, there will be many obstacles. Okay, but with the hard work and self-belief, there's a no limit what you can achieve. Okay, and friends, trust on IBPS guide team. We will definitely will make you to achieve your dream. Okay, dream job that is SBI PO. And friends, also on the daily basis, please follow our YouTube channel so that uh, you can get the uh, get the idea how new pattern type of question is being asked in SBI exams. Because see, on daily basis we are giving a SBI PO series. Either it is quant reasoning, or now today uh, from today onwards you are getting the videos for English also. Okay, so just follow us on YouTube channel and the my dear friends, the success mantra of clearing any exams that is the more you practice and faster you can solve. Okay, my words note down that. See, if you practice lots and lots of questions, definitely you will get a speed. See, in pre-exams, if I talk about in pre-exam, in any bank exam, you will, you will what you need? The speed, definitely you need speed plus accuracy because this accuracy also matters. See, um, only one hour you have in pre-exam, only one hour and how many questions? 100 question you have to solve so you need some speed if we talk about the speed my dear friend you have to be very fast in calculation calculation okay calculation and the second point is you have to be very fast in reading because until and if you don't have reading skill good reading skill you can't able to understand the application sums in quant or in reasoning lengthy puzzles or in uh, english rc so please 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 focus on your reading skills also reading skill read daily newspaper at least 30 minutes at least 30 minutes read newspaper okay so friends uh, see uh, see every uh, Every newcomer or you can say every new aspirants of bank banking exams have a lots of uh, doubts in this See friends every new aspirants of banking exams have lots of doubt likewise from where I have to start from uh, which topic should I start what are the weightage of the topic and uh, What topic I need to focus more so in this video? I will be clearing all of all your doubts so let's know the structure of the exam of pre as well as means okay see in pre exam in pre exam if i talk about for the sbi po sbi clerk ivps po or ivps clerk only there should be a fixed time that is 20 minute for quantitative aptitude and number of question will be 35 but in case of rrb in case of rrb po as well as clerk in both case the uh, you have a composite time that is 45 minutes is allocated and the question number of question in quantitative section is 40. See in uh, RRP PO only the two section is there but uh, in SBI PO, SBI clerk, IUPS PO, IUPS clerk three section and that is English section. Third section is English and uh, first two section is your quant as well as your reasoning. Okay uh, in this uh, RRP PO exams the quant have number of question 40 with 40 marks clear now now let's discuss the mains exam pattern see this exam pattern is based on previous years exams uh, like uh, IUPS PO SBI PO okay uh, so let's discuss see if any changes in 2019 is there we will definitely inform you okay see now uh, in mains exam it is in SBI PO 
as well as in IBPS PU. Quantity Aptitude section become data analysis and interpretation which contain 45 minutes fixed time and number of question is 35 and number of question see number of question is 35 but the total marks is 60 so focus here this data analysis and interpretation consist of 60 marks okay and my dear friends in IVPS PO there is a sectional cutoff but in SBI PO there is no sectional cutoff only overall sectional cutoff suppose overall cutoff for SBI PO is 80 marks okay overall cutoff but in data analysis and interpretation section you got 0 marks but all over you got 83 marks so you are eligible you are eligible of getting allotment okay but in the case of IBPS PO, there is a sectional cutoff. You have to clear each and every section with a sectional cutoff. Okay, now come to where the SBI clerk and IBPS clerk. In IBPS clerk, and there is a sectional cutoff. But in SBI clerk, there is a overall cutoff you have to pass out. Okay, so in this exam, there is a fixed time that is 45 minutes and number of question is 50 and total marks is 50. Means each question has one marks and in all oh, oh, incomplete either SBI or IVPS um, or RRB there is a negative marking of 0.25 okay now quantity aptitude section in RRB officer scale that is uh, PO and IVPS RRB office assistant that is clerk so the composite time is given that is 2 hours there is a no sectional time there is a no uh, anything else okay just you have only two hour and in the two hour you have to manage your time in quantitative section that how much uh, time you are spending on quantitative aptitude in real exam so number of question is 40 and total marks see total marks is uh, sorry to number of question is 40 and uh, total marks is 50 means each uh, each question have 1.25 marks okay now let's discuss some more points okay see start with basic my dear friends what this basic means basic mean you need to focus on your calculation first calculation okay in calculation like how to add two number how to add two number faster for example if i say can you add 69 plus 81 fast yes exactly you can because you know 80 plus 60 is 140 and 9 plus 1 is 10 140 plus 10 that is 150 okay these things should be uh, covered in you imagined on your mind okay so you have to focus on this there are many tricks suppose uh, see 1 3 5 6 plus 8 9 3 1 so how you can add this number fast see Either you can what digit by digit 6 plus 1 this is called linear repose 6 plus 1 that is 7 3 plus 5 that is 8 3 plus 9 that is 12 2 1 1 plus 1 2 8 plus 2 is 10 you can see you have to focus on these things also so how to add two number faster how to subtract two number faster three numbers okay or one liner approach what is one liner approach in calculation what is vedic uh, cal multiplication so you have to focus on how to multiply two number see still uh, who are very new on this uh, banking sector exam if it's this is come 25 into 42 what they do is like this 25 into 40 no you will not do this like this you have to apply the tricks on that tricks you have to stick uh, in exam also as well as while you are practicing uh, some question see how you can uh, do this mentally this is 25 this is 25 just double this 25 that is 50 and half this number that is 21 now you can easily see now 0 5 1 5 5 2 10 can you see very easy you can do this mentally my dear friends okay so we will cover in our video course that is free of cost on day wise topic we will cover these things okay and now uh, and after multiplying getting and learning the tricks you have to focus on practicing while you are practicing apply those tricks okay see what is what is the success mantra the success mantra is the more you practice the faster you can solve okay so now in basic you have to learn the table at least 
you learn 20 tables up to 20 up to 20 you have to learn you have to learn the square up to 50 you have to learn the cube if it is possible learn the cube at least 20 so focus on these small small things and practice as much as you can because the practice makes you faster okay second point is make a schedule most important strategy to cover each topic is to make a day wise preparation plan friends okay make a proper schedule and stick with that schedule okay don't compromise yourself my dear friend that this topic i will cover uh, before two or three days of exam no you have to cover each and every topic why i am saying so suppose you are very strong in time and work time and work so you believe that i i will cover i will attempt each question uh, from time and work but in the same way you have a weak portion that is probability okay you are very weak in probability and you don't uh, focus on this chapter that is probability but what happen in exam that uh, you will get the hardest question in time and work and you are wasting your time and after that you will not get the answer but if you come to this topic there's one small very easy question in probability but what you think what you make up your mind that i will not attempt each question i will not attempt uh, uh, any question from probability so this is the negative things do not uh, uh, have negative points uh, on your mind just you have to focus on each and every topic you have to cover every topic okay so that's why i'm saying saying that cover every topic and make a proper schedule give a give at least what i am saying at least give a three to five i am asking only three to five hour on quant on regular basis give a three to five hours on uh, quant on regular basis and suppose uh, you have done your calculation part suppose you have done each and everything calculation part is done now what you have to do you have to move to another uh, another topic no you don't move just practice at least 100 question 100 question until unless make a target that i will solve 100 questions then i will move to another topic okay likewise you can prepare very well in quant section now second point second point third point that is focus on weak topics as i told that if you skip this now that uh, uh, avoiding it uh, that i will not uh, learn anything about a probability or any other weak topic you have so you have to then you will suffer in exam my dear friends so you have to focus on weak topics too okay next point is daily practice as much as question you can my dear friends practice makes you perfect okay practice makes you faster you will get calculation speed faster okay now suppose you have learned some concept of adding multiplication and learn table and learn cubes now on day one but just do not go that day one i learned these things now over no solve at least 50 to 100 question in day one okay solve as much as question you can okay and before going to bed before going to bed just think and give a 10 minutes close your eye and think that what work you have done today and what is my day two plan okay just think it so that you will think when you think such something like this now you will say see in your mind that uh, uh, okay in day two i will cover a quadratic equation so i will cover th this quadratic equation i will um, cover uh, almost 50 question i will i my target is for day two is i will solve 50 question in day two now you will can uh, now you will feel good uh, in yourself also and you have you will get uh, some positive energy for day two okay now now the second point uh, now the next point is take a topic as well as sectional mock test we ips guide provide you topic wise as well as sectional mock just you can uh, see now today uh, say uh, we are uh, offering you that uh, 499 cost at 499 cost at this is a platinum with validity is 15 month you can purchase our mock test series and you can see uh, we are providing topic wise what is topic wise i will differentiate you here what is topic wise and what is sectional wise okay see in topic wise suppose uh, the topic is di so in di we 
we will provide a question at least 20 questions at least 20 question on di okay and if we talk about application sums or you can say word problem there is a time and work topic so in time and work you will get 20 question for practicing so this is the topic wise and if we talk about the section wise uh, what is section wise test section wise likewise uh, it will cover quant okay it will cover complete quant in uh, suppose first question is on the basis of simplification second question is based on time and work third question is on di so each and every topic will be covered in this section and the total is 35 35 questions as a pre uh, as a pre uh, see in pre 35 question will be there now so 35 question is there in sectional okay now come to the next point that is most important topic so what are the those most important topic my dear friends see after completing after completing the calculation part you can move to the important topic likewise quadratic equation number series okay quadratic okay number series di approximation simplifications so and these are the important topics you have to first cover these topics okay and next point is choose the right material friends choose the right material so that you can get a quality questions okay the ex exam level question you will get okay you can check it out our mock test our topic wise section wise each and every question have quality level and uh, based on a recent pattern okay now at last what is the tips so in tips i will detail i will give you a detailed explanation that is practice previous year or memory based question which will help you to understand the level of ex level of exam see in 2018 the new pattern uh, new type of question occur in setting arrangement that is uncertain number of type so in upcoming 2019 you have to focus on certain number of setting arrangement type setting arrangement okay in circular in linear you have to focus so practice more question from previous years memory based up till 2017 2018 you will definitely see the changes the level of the uh, question is there okay now second point is take a regular break during your study friends see this is the very important this is a very important part of a study to develop the routine that fit uh, that fit your study style okay take a break for a uh, take a break for brain to regain to regain its focus so that you can focus on your uh, study take a break like uh, see what i am telling is uh, i am telling you that uh, take a study quant at least three to five hour so in this three to five hour take a break according to yourself take a uh, uh, study one hour and then take a break of at least 15 minutes or 20 minutes okay so third point is avoid negative negativity from yourself okay remove the negativity see friends uh, suppose uh, you are very weak in quant from your childhood okay so do not uh, make up your mind that uh, i can't able to solve a single question in work in world problem because i am very weak in quant no my dear friends have a faith in your own ability you work hard there's nothing there's nothing you can not accomplish believe yourself okay and at last i want to tell you that sleep at least eight hours sleep at least eight hours, my dear friends because see everything is based on your brain now so until unless your brain will not get a rest how you can give your hard work no you cannot able to give okay so that is why sleep at least eight hour every night and eat properly and drink plenty of water and all and do all those important things you need to do for your brain okay now come to the syllabus of the quantitative aptitude so these are the important topic that is simplification and approximation see in PO exam approximation comes at least five marks okay I am not saying that uh, definitely it will come see uh, maybe it come or may not be it come maybe okay same case for simplification also maybe it will come uh, 10 to 10 marks in pre exams or in other shift may it may be happened that uh, not a single question is asked from the simplification okay now number series which is very important see after uh, after um, uh, after getting command on calculation like uh, some adding subtraction division multiplications uh, learning squares cubes finding out the square roots and all 
just come to this uh, these topics that simplification approximation number series missing and wrong number just focus here nowadays what ups or sbi doing is now they start asking a question from the wrong number series also because initially uh, wrong number is coming in mains exam but the pattern of mains exam asked in number series is also changed okay uh, what uh, how they are changed that uh, you they, what they give they give us uh, some number series complete series and you have to crack the logic of that number series and uh, in next st uh, statement uh, they give us some number and you have to apply on uh, same logic to find out the final answer okay so they change the pattern of the number series also so you have to uh, see what i am telling is you have to see the memory based question also means this is the tips that you have to analyze the paper of previous years okay now come after that come to the quadrate a question see uh, in some shift quadrate a question asked in pre exam i am talking about and in some shift if it is asked then it is of 5 marks okay that is why give a priority to these topics that quadrate a question simplification number series and data interpretation see data interpretation definitely it will come in exam either it is pre or mains so you have to focus on and there are different types of di also that is table bar pi mixed radar line and caslet yeah see this is a caslet this caslet definitely in po exam you will see a, at least one question from the caslet di or uh, or or next uh, next set of five question is maybe bar table pi any of them okay so uh, you have to uh, and after covering these topics after covering after covering uh, getting the command uh, now come to the percentage learn percentage percentage to fraction each and every value you have to learn up till 1 by 20 okay then after percentage come to ratio and proportional chapter then come to averages then you can go any uh, you can go and you can take a uh, you can uh, take a any topic like profit and loss if you want to if you are very comfortable in profit and loss you can mixture and allegation you can plan yourself my dear friends okay and uh, ages partnership pipe and system time and work see pipe and work and time and system the concept on these two chapter is same okay likewise in boats and stream the concept of boat and stream and time and distance is almost the same the same formula is there and simple interest compound interest see after covering ratio and proportion you can directly come to the mixture and allegation because mixture and allegation is a completely based on which chapter ratio and proportional okay now i will discuss that uh, how abps guide uh, pro, uh, complete you these topic wise questions suppose uh, first topic like uh, you take time and distance okay see time and distance okay so first initially what we provide you is basic concept and on this basic concept i will be providing you at, at least 10 to 15 question with practice set okay and in this basic concept uh, i will be solving uh, 10 to 15 question okay after that come to the next level that is second moderate level moderate level okay in this level also we will solve at least 10 to 15 question and for practicing i will be we will be giving you a 10 to 15 question as a pdf you can uh, download that pdf from the description box and the third link is hard level questions hard level so these are the three modules that you will uh, get in your, our video on daily basis okay see these are the application sums word problem okay but what i told you is there is a data sufficiency topic here is which is considered at least if it will come it will come with five marks definitely and same case for quantity one and quantity two what is this quantity one see you have to compare two quantity quantity one and quantity two here in quantity one you will get some uh, some uh, what word problem and in quantity 2 also word problem so after getting some value of quantity 1 and quantity 2 you have to just compare that whether it is greater than or it is less than or it is equal than okay so after covering these three modules we will come to that data sufficiency data sufficiency after covering data sufficiency which is based on time and distance or you can say uh, we will come to data interpretation whichever it suits and um, we will come with that okay but we will cover 
if we are taking the time and distance we will cover each and every topic that were um, that were very helpful for your upcoming uh, exams like that is sbi po okay after data sufficiency data interpretation quantity 1 and quantity 2 type okay this module will work for same like uh, either it is simple interest or compound interest boards and stream profit and loss pipe and system ages time and distance any of the topic permutation and combination and probability okay now and at last and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon also so that you will get the notification whenever we will upload a new video okay and a uh, few days back i have already uploaded the review of ultimate puzzle book and uh, in upcoming days i will be uploading the uh, review of ultimate application sums and data interpretations also as well as ultimate sitting arrangement also to get these books you can get these books uh, just see the description box you have a uh, one link just click on it uh, you will be directed to the our website and you can from there you can order our books and within 10 to 15 days these books will be at your home okay if you have any doubt so you can mail to me that rohit at the rate ibps guide dot com okay mail your query regarding book test series or any reasoning puzzle or any question uh, anything you can mail to me directly i will definitely respond to your mail thank you for watching and have a nice day